Are you entitled to vote in referendum in Ireland? Because we have a we have a, a vote coming up shortly of where uh, no, you're not no. Um, what do you think of the this whole question of abolishing the Shannad? Um, we the I was actually talking about it in Dublin this week. Um, it's abolishing it for what is the question? I, I want to know what. You know, there are a lot of things that a, sh a Shannad could do and should do. For example, I don't want to get too technical about this, but the whole area of post-legislative scrutiny really interests me. I.e., we pass too many laws. Half the laws we pass, or half too many. A number of the laws that we pass are probably unnecessary and in many cases never used. So the idea that on a, on a cycle, every five years, you look at the laws you've got and assess their effectiveness, whether they need improving, and changing, modernising, that's a role for somebody. And that's a role that could be done by a Shannon, for sure. Then you've got a thing we call pre-legislative scrutiny, which is who looks at bills before they become laws or even before they go into, go into Parliament. Parliaments all over the world are too busy, honestly, to scrutinise legislation in the way that it frequently deserves to be scrutinised, which is why you get mistakes. So that's another role. How do you create expert bodies that scrutinise uh, that, that a bill before it becomes? So you've got this, if you, if you take the whole process from an idea, political idea, through to goes into a parliament, emerges the other side as a, as, a, as a piece of legislation, and then five years later is probably not the piece of legislation necessarily intended. There are any number of ways that you can engage with that, that whole process, and I think that's where a second chamber or a, or a second set of representatives, if you like, could be invaluable. So Speci you'd probably be in right. favour of reform rather than abolishing I would be... Uh, I would, yes, I'd be in favour of reform. I'd be in favour of reform, which carried with it a very clear role, a very clear description of what the purposes and responsibilities uh, of, the, of that house or that body was. And it seems to me that one of the problems of the debate about the Shannon is that people aren't quite sure why it's there or what its purpose is or what it achieves. Uh, that's so quite unfair in some senses, but it's, clearly defined. it's got to be much, much more clearly defined in, in a 21st century manner.